Sport tonight, the Spirit of New Zealand was recently docked in Bluff Harbour. We went for a sail and spoke to a couple of enthusiastic recent crew members. I'd heard through school some of my friends had done it, and like older people from older friends. And um, yeah, they sounded like they'd had such an amazing time, and so I wanted to give it a go as well. So, yeah. Are you from a nautical background? Had you been sailing before? No, no, sailing's new to me. I'm more sort of land-based sports. I've never done any... I do water skiing, but that's about it. No, nothing to do with sailing. Because we're all thrown into the same situation where we didn't know anybody, um, it was quite awkward at the start. And then after a while, you realise that, you know, you can make friends, of course. And today, oh, I just, watching everyone leave at 7 o'clock, I was crying. I was so sad to see them go. It's to think, like, 10 days ago, they are strangers, and now we're best friends. And, yeah, hopefully they'll last for a long time. Yeah, so you'd say you've made friends for life yep, on, the, on this festival? Yeah, made lifetime friends, yeah. Let's talk about the accommodation downstairs and that sort of thing. It does look pretty rough, doesn't it, downstairs? Did, did, did yeah. you find it comfortable? Was it everything you needed? Um, after a hard day sailing, yeah, they felt like double beds really. Um, it was a bit of a challenge because I was on the top bunk and so I had to lie flat before I slid myself into my bed, <laughs> which was pretty funny. But yeah, no, they're comfortable enough, so yeah, their pillow, your sleeping bag and your rug. Food and that sort of thing, uh, is it high quality cuisine? Did you go fishing? No, we didn't go fishing, but yeah, no, the food was definitely great. Frida does such an amazing job. So yeah, we got really nice meals, really yummy things. And what would you say to someone else like yourself? Uh, would you encourage them to, to get out there and do this? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it so much. I absolutely loved it. I love this sort of thing, you know, meeting new people, challenging myself and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyone who's willing to give anything a go, they should definitely do it. Yeah. Sounds like 10 days wasn't enough. No, definitely not. I was asking for more. I was wishing I could stay on for two or more weeks. So yeah, <laughs> so much fun. There was a guy that had been on it that went to James Hargis and he talked about it at an assembly. And I was like, he showed us all these photos and this PowerPoint on it. And I was like, that looks really cool. So just went along and talked to one of the teachers about it. And he gave me all the information. And from there, it's just easy. Just applied and that was it. Have you had a bit of a nautical background yourself or was this all new to you, uh, sailing? It's pretty much all new. I went for a little bit on Outward Bound, but that was only like two days. So this was, it was a whole new thing for me. We started in Dunedin and then we sailed like a few, few ports in um, Stewart Island and through areas and then, yeah, I came here. And the weather was good for you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we were really lucky. It was very few days when it was just freezing and cold. But what sort of skills do you think you picked up? I mean, having not really sailed yourself, was it, was it surprising? It was definitely challenging being on the boat with uh, like 39, uh, 38 other people. But it was, yeah, it was good to learn like tolerance and stuff, especially because there's nowhere to go on a boat. <laughs> you you got to just kind of like deal with it. And I think I grew a lot. This is students from all over New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah all over the country. We had a lot of Aucklanders. <laughs> all different backgrounds? Yes, everyone, all, all different, all different ages. I'm like, I think we had a 15 year old to an 18 year old, 18, 19. So you all get on the boat and so instantly you've really, got, you, as you said, you can't just say stop the boat, I want off, can you? You've all got to work together. Yeah, it's all about teamwork. Everyone's got to pull their weight and it's really cool. We all chipped in and everything worked. What sort of recreational activities did you get up to as you did call in to certain places around the coast? Uh, we had a spur at Olympics one night that was really cool and we did different like sort of activities. It was a race kind of thing that was cool. Um, oh, we dropped an egg from one of the uh, platforms up there. See if it, yeah, everyone's cracked. <laughs> but, um, and we just did little things like that each night after dinner. We uh, got the plank out and did the yard swing as well. That was heaps of fun. Which is, sorry, explain that to uh, us non-nautical folk. <laughs> um, it was kind of like a rope that's hooked up there and you swing out into the water. So it was quite cool. Some people did some flips off it. And of course, nice and warm down here. Oh, of course. <laughs> now, moving on, what, what would, you, would, you, would you, firstly, would you recommend it to others? Definitely, 100%. Just... Everyone should have a go at it. Totally worth it. I had so much fun. You do it again yourself? Yes, I, I want to. 
definitely planning on looking into going to leading hand in the future. So what does that involve? Um, it's a little bit more responsibility. You're looking after everyone instead of being part of it quite so much. But it's still, still heaps of fun. I think it's, it's great. I mean, the ship's it's a romantic thing. Um, got a good reputation operationally. And uh, people come on board and generally love the experience. What's your uh, maritime background b before becoming skipper? Oh, left school, went off to sea because I wanted to see the world. Short-term job before I got a real one and I'm still playing with boats now. So It's a team building exercise, isn't it? This is all about team building with young it's, people. Yeah, it's opportunity, problem solving, taking challenges, learning their own strengths, um, working with new people. Yeah, it's got all that going to it. Plus, we, you know, there's a, a side um, aspect of it that we're taking them to wonderful places in New Zealand on on a good-looking ship. And, you know, we're going to get down to Stewart Island and, weather permitting, into the sounds, go into Pickersgill and Cook went and so on. And that's that's a really unique experience for anyone, let alone a 15, 16, 17-year-old. It must be thrilling for you in, in the time that you've been uh, watching these young kids, young people come on board and then watching them leave. We've just spoken to, to a couple, they're very enthusiastic, they're saying this is a life-changing experience. Yeah, well that's a, it's a sort of a, a regular thing that says, but I think in a lot of cases it's not just a glib comment, it is true, they, they, they learn a lot from the whole experience. It's total range here yeah, and we get them literally from... Um, the poorer backgrounds to the ones that, but I don't do cleaning because the maid does that. Literally, those they soon three. learn. <laughs> yeah, they still soon learn, and and they're living next to each other. So those two extremes, and when they go to bed at night, they're half a meter apart when they're sleeping. So um, that's a that's sort of a, a big lesson for all sorts of people. And I hear in this day of modern technology, you do take the cell phones off them. Yeah, cell phones. Well, the idea is they concentrate on where they are and the people they're with rather than escaping, if you like, with the cell phone or the iPod into their own world all the time. They can do that at the end of 10 days. What sort of adventures do these, these guys get up to? <laughs> well, we do a whole mixture of stuff. There's sailing the ship. Um, we'll get a chance to walks and we've got some really excellent little small boats for sailing. Uh, anything paddling rafts ashore. And, yeah. The, the, the other crew that have just finished, they've, uh, they were right down to Port Pegasus and it's, it's a really unique place of New Zealand. It's a great spot to go to. It's sort of New Zealand before man came along and started changing it. Predominantly though you do operate up north around the Hauraki Gulf and that sort of thing? Well, it's an ideal area for us. It's, you know, it's, it's got enough variety, it's got lots of shelter, but it's also good to get out of there occasionally and come down to here and have maybe more adventurous sailing going up the west coast and certainly be adventurous. Let's talk about the vessel itself. Um, I mean, outwardly it looks like a square rig sailing ship, but she's actually fairly modern below decks, isn't she? There's a lot of technology there um, for the times when perhaps there aren't winds or perhaps there's too much wind. The ship was um, really well built in the first place, so she's in really good condition and the size and the layout of it worked generally well for what we, we could see into the future, so then it was fixing the systems on it or updating the systems on it. So after 40 years and you've, you've been involved um, for a while of that period, how have things changed and where do you see it and do you see it carrying on for another 40 years? Is there oh, a place for so, spirit of adventure? I think that, that sort of learning experience is sort of isn't set by an age. You know, we have different gadgetry we take with us and, and different expectations maybe, but basically the people are the, are the same. They still get the same thrills out of it. You know, 40 years ago they enjoyed sailing on the ship or going for a walk or seeing somewhere new and they still do that. Most people are just like that.